guys, welcome back to the video. Today I'm playing the park. This is really a video meant to be my, for my friend, because he's one of those people that are really my friend. I beat the game once, might as well beat it again, why not? <laughs> it's not that scary of a game, it's like one of those games that you can just find for $13 at the PlayStation Store. Yeah, I wasted $13 on this game. Basically, my mom bought it for me. And I gave her $13 for my 20 So now I have 7 In the arms of the angel. <laughs> no. But I believe I'm the only person here on YouTube that doesn't give out ad advertisements. This loading screen is really long. I can hear a noise. Oh, it passed to a Y. Why the you lying? Sorry. Fun, calm. In my presents. heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. And I'm not gonna spoil it, but I'm gonna tell you guys, it's one of those games that you can ride a roller coaster. But it's just a scary version. Where's Mr. Bear? Bear. I haven't seen Mr. Bear Roller, Cameron. roller, roller, roller. <clears throat> if, if you guys ever noticed, it was getting more. Like. Stay in the car. Go and ask information. Information for where Mr. Bear is? Because. Who? Um, what? I was going to say he has shoes. The park is now closed. Oh, cool. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. But also, this is one of those Calum things. was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. May 1977. He's definitely older than me. Jesus Christ. He's a bit older than me. This is a cutscene. What? It's like the game Among the Sleep, but you're a girl. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, and it's stop. Double. I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Oh, cool. Can I go the opposite way? No. Okay, shout for Callum. Callum, I told you to wait in the car. Come on, Mommy. Oh, so, okay. Let's read this. Welcome to the Atlantic Island Park. When I first... Blah, blah, blah. I said, I'm going to read the middle one because it seems really interesting. Chad the Chipmunk recommends for little ones to try the Tunnel of Tales for a subtle family friendly. What? Because all it says is just stuff about places to eat and diners and lobster traps and places to sleep. It's all that. Okay. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. Over here. Awesome. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employee, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Oh. My bad, guys. My drill died. 
that one moment that you're really intense in the game and then your controller dies. What happened here? You can't catch me. Wait, what? Wait, what? You're so fast with those tiny legs. When I was that small, I wasn't even that fast. Come back, Callum. Come back. Callum? Oh, he's gone. He will. Ooh, I really want to read the giant. Chad the chipmunk. Ooh. I think this belongs to Callum. Looks like it. You just take it. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Okay, let's read this. Chad the Chipmunk welcomes you to Atlantic Park. Chad can be seen in daily ice sculpting shows in the following locations. 11 a.m. Shy Shy Show Alley. 1 p.m. The Octatron. I guess that's a ride. 3 p.m. The Park Entrance. Chad the Chipmunk, worse than class. Chad the Chipmunk doesn't, can't even pass. Seem to pass. Chad, the, Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad gets beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die, used to slob. Awesome! I would never. That thing would. In my nightmares, that thing would never die. Yeah, it's just a junk guy in the shoot, because he's fighting. Oh, over there. What is this about? Barely read it. Oh. So it is me that heard that really creepy noise. Ooh, this must be the tunnel of tails. The tunnel of tails. Callum, stay where you are. Callum? Oh. Oh. Where are oh. you? Come on, Mommy. Oh, this is a good story. Yeah, hey, if it wasn't. Oh. Bum bum ba da bum bum ba da bum bum ba da bum 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 ba da bum. This is the awesomest game ever. You can just ride a swan. But I guess it tells a tale by you ride a swan. I thought it would be the love tunnel, but I remember this is an amusement park. Dun dun dun. Sorry. Okay, are we gonna hear any taily tales? Hey, man. Okay. Near a great forest, right now. there lived a poor oh. woodcutter, his wife, woodcutter. and his two children. Two a children. boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife, I cannot do that. Said the man. And also, guys, then this we will all fall star, you things. fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground. 
Actually, right now, guys, go down in the comments right now and type in Let Dragon Go from Being Grounded. Please. That's what he's probably begging for you, everyone. Ground to, to fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Oh god, I know. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. <laughs> The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their Looking sweets, right at followed. The Oh. Once inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! the old witch said. The opening is here! And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. 
Gretel slid a 